Good morning. Uh, this is a video in the continuing series that we're now doing on the Russian pyramid research. Uh, today we're talking specifically about uh, its impact on human health. And the title of uh, uh, this video is Russian Geometry Pyramid Improves Lymphocyte Proliferation and Longevity. Now, I don't want to lose all the non-science majors in the group because uh, uh, even though I was a biology major over 40 years ago, I uh, had to look all this stuff back up again. And in fact, I learned that uh, some of the stuff I learned in college has now uh, uh, been amended and corrected. So uh, uh, we're going to try to keep this as simple as possible. And uh, uh, here we go. Uh, I mentioned we're going to be talking about lymphocytes uh, today. Uh, and let me, uh, let me tell you what lymphocytes are. Uh, first of all, uh, we're going to go to the slide which uh, says what do lymphocytes do. And that's up on the, on the screen now. And this is coming from the Encyclopedia Britannica. But it defines uh, lymphocytes as white blood cells that determine the specific response of the immune system to bacteria and toxins uh, better known in, in clinical or scientific terms as antigens. Uh, they are present in the circulation and the central uh, lymphoid organs and tissues where an immune response initially occurs. The Encyclopedia Britannica states that lymphocytes are primarily categorized into B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, also call, called B and T cells, both types come from stem cells in the bone marrow. Some travel to the thymus and mature into T cells, while others stay in the bone marrow and develop into B cells. Uh, you may have seen our previous video on uh, thyroid function, and so this uh, T cell concept ties in directly uh, with some of that research that we talked about previously. Uh, now, this next paragraph is, I think, fairly important. We're going to come back to it later, but uh, lymphocytes generally last for a short time with an average lifespan ranging from a, a week to a few months. Although some cells live for years and form a group of long-lived T and B cells, these lymphocytes are responsible, this is key, I think, uh, for later, for immunological memory a faster, vigorous response to a subsequent encounter with the same antigen, such as a microorganism or a foreign substance. They remove these antigens from the body by binding the antigens through the receptor molecules on their surfaces. Uh, lymphocytes then multiply into clones of identical cells which produce antibodies that neutralize or destroy the targeted antigen says the Encyclopedia Britannica. Uh, the body continues to produce antibodies for several days or months until the antigen is destroyed. Well, I know for most of us who have gone in and gotten our blood work done, sometimes we uh, may hear from uh, the, the doctor that uh, you know our white blood cell count is uh, low uh, or high or what have you. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's exactly what we're talking about here today. Uh, lymphocytes really are those same white blood cells. So um, what we want to do next is to go over the exact uh, research that was done. But um, uh, before we do that, I wanted to clarify uh, the difference. We're going to be talking about lymphocytes and lymphoblasts. Uh, actually, the Russian research refers to them as lymphoblasts. So I want to give you a definition of that versus a leukocyte. Uh, a lymphoblast, as you can see now, is a morphologically immature lymphocyte, once thought to represent an early stage in lymphocyte development, but now known to be an activated lymphocyte that has been transformed in response to antigenic stimulation, as we discussed earlier. So uh, I know, I think when I was in college, uh, you know, we learned that a lymphoblast uh, was, a, was an immature lymphocyte. Uh, I'm not sure if the Google Translate function from pyramids.ru, where this uh, information comes from, understands that uh, distinction. But anyway, we're going to move on with the research, knowing that uh, 
uh, you know, the end results are really not going to be significantly different whether we're talking about lymphoblasts or lymphocytes. Um, as you see now up on the page, the methodology that was used uh, was uh, to study the effects of the pyramid field on human lymphoblast cells. In the experimental group, water was placed inside the pyramid and was used to prepare a solution of nutrient growth medium, whereas in the control group, water that had not yet or that had not been exposed to the pyramid was used uh, as the basis of the nutrient growth medium. Cell viability was determined, determined by staining cells with 0.4% tripan blue and MTT. Uh, I took organic chemistry and I looked up MTT. It's an awfully long word that nobody needs to understand, but basically it's a great system for being able to count cells. So uh, once the uh, staining was done, uh, an analysis was done using uh, spectrophotometry uh, of the absorption of the dye. Now here come the results. Uh, by day 10, a noticeable increase in the number of cells and the percentage of cell viability in the treated exposure group, which was that with the pyramid water, uh, was determined compared to the control group. On day 11, these values were respectively 1.2 million total cells per milliliter, and uh, that was for the control group, with a 52% viability. So what that means is they counted 1.2 million cells in a milliliter of, uh, of the medium, uh, but only 52% of them were actually uh, still viable or alive uh, in the control group. Now, in the uh, group that um, had the uh, pyramid water in the uh, nutrient medium, there were 1.4 million cells uh, and an 88% viability. So in other words, after 11 days, there were 1,232,000 live cells remaining or in existence uh, in the pyramid water group and only half that much, 622,000 uh, in the control group. But this gets even more uh, uh, pronounced as we uh, proceed on, as I show 10 days later on day 21. These same values were 0 0.05 million total cells which is 50,000 cells in total per milliliter uh, were in the control group, but only 2% of those or 1,000 of those cells uh, were still viable or alive in the uh, control group. And we compare that with uh, 0.3 million or 300,000 total cells per milliliter uh, in the pyramid water group, experimental group, and an amazing 49% of those cells, or 147,000 per milliliter, were still viable. So if you look at that after day 21, 1,000 cells in the control group were still alive versus 147,000 that were still alive in the experimental group. Obviously a huge difference in the uh, longevity, particularly of these uh, cells, and as you can see as well, uh, a much greater uh, proliferation as well. But now if we could, let's go back to that uh, definition because it's said that uh, from the Encyclopedia Britannica that lymphocytes uh, are responsible for immunological memory producing a faster, vigorous response to a subsequent encounter with the same antigen. So. What that's telling me, I'm not a doctor and I'm, I'm not giving medical advice, but if I read this properly, uh, unless and until you're able to continue to have long-lived um, uh, lymphocyte cells uh, continuing to flow throughout your bloodstream, uh, you're, if you don't have that, you're going to lose the immune response that's naturally uh, available in your body. So. Uh, it's not a surprise at all to me, given these results, that we have uh, 147,000 immune cells uh, that are long-lived after um, 21 days versus only 1,000 in the control group. It's not a surprise to me at all that we would find the results that we're finding with respect to immune function 
uh, in animals of all kinds after they've been exposed to the Russian uh, geometry pyramid. And again, uh, the research indicates that this exposure can be uh, directly sitting inside of it. It can be uh, being in the neighborhood, vicinity of it. You can drink water. You can uh, uh, put uh, crystalline uh, rocks like granite that have been exposed to the pyramid, crystals. All of these things will work um, as an alternative uh, to uh, actually sitting under the pyramid itself. But with all that said, this is another indication and scientifically proven of the uh, enhanced immune function within the human body that occurs as a result of exposure to the Russian geometry pyramids. Hope this has been helpful. Remember to tell your friends about this series. Have them uh, come look at uh, our website, onlypvcpyramids.com, and our um, uh, YouTube page, Only PVC Pyramids. Hope this has been helpful, and you have a great day.